Hey everyone, it's Laura. I got one of my Sephora orders from, you know, their big VIB sale or whatever it's called. Um, I'm at the level where I get 15% off. Rouge is the highest level. They get 20% off and then the lower level is 10%. So I'm the 15%. So I didn't go too crazy, although I did get a couple of things. This. I wanted some stuff. <laughs> so anyway, I will show you what I got. Um, I have two orders. The other one hasn't shipped yet. So I'll tag that one on with some other stuff because I only got a couple of things. This one's like the bigger of the two orders. So anyway, before I show you that, let me show you my lippy of the day. I just got this recently from Fenty. I ordered directly from their website because it's something I wanted, but they were offering 30% off versus, you know, I get 15% off from Sephora. So it's a good idea to order directly from cosmetic brands if, if there's things you like, because like Fenty always says free shipping no matter what the size of the order. But anyway, it's one of the um, glossy, gloss bomb? Yeah, gloss bomb lip glosses. And this one is called Fuchsia Flex. And I thought it matched my shirt. So, okay, let's go through my order. I didn't get a lot of stuff, but there's some things I kind of, I had so much stuff in my cart that I kept taking out, putting back in, and da, 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 da. I whittled it down to a few things that I really, really wanted to try. So first up is the one size um, cheek clapper. This is a blush trio. You get a cream blush, a powder blush, and a highlighter. I was going back and forth between getting this in one of the Patrick Ta blush duos. They're the same price. And I thought, why not get the one that comes with a highlighter too? They're both really highly rated. Um, right after I ordered this, they announced that um, one size, Patrick Star, is the curator of the next Icon Box, which I decided not to get. And this is one of the things that will be in the Icon Box. So I probably broke about even as far as what I paid. But anyway... These are, I believe, $38. And then, like I said, I got 15% off. And they're really pretty. There is a big old mirror. And you could see the top one is the cream blush. The middle one is the powder blush. And then the bottom one is the highlighter. The cream blush has a little... Let's see. I'm going to cover the mirror with this so I can show you. Okay, there was a color saver over the bottom, too. But the cream blush has a little plastic window over it which is hard to do there we go <laughs> so to keep it from drying out so let's do a swatch um the shades that I got is called attention seeker they're you know pink pretty pink so here's the cream blush swatch that on my hand the powder blush which has little smiley face imprints in it oh that's pretty and then the highlighter, which I will probably use more like a blush topper. Well, no, it, you know, it does go on pretty sheer. Okay, so that's the cream blush, the powder blush, and then the highlighter right there. That is really pretty. I'm excited. And I like their packaging. I have um, a, a powder foundation from one size that I really, really like. Similar packaging, but it's all red, but it has the same kind of um, opening. And yeah, so anyway, so I got that. And then I got this concealer brush that I've heard so much good stuff about um, from House Labs. And I will show you what it looks like. So that's what the component looks like. And do you see how it's shaped it's very dense but soft and it's meant so that it can like really get you know under your eye to you know do your under eye concealer so i'm excited to try that um i've been using brushes more for even like liquid foundation or like skin tints than the sponges i'm having better luck with that so instead of doing a sponge for my concealer i'm gonna try this concealer brush so i got that Another one size product that I got, and I got the baby. <laughs> it's itty bitty. But this is supposed to be one of the best setting sprays on the market, and it's expensive. Um, I kind of wish I would have got the bigger one, but to be honest, um, I'm going to use this for home. 
you know, like on the weekends and stuff. This will probably last me all summer. It's almost like a hairspray consistency from what I've heard, but it's called On Till Dawn and it's a mattifying waterproof setting spray. And from what I've been told, this stuff, when you put this on, your makeup will not budge. <laughs> it will last all day, whether you're sweating, if you get, you know, even if you get your face wet, like you've got to use a micellar water or a cleansing balm or something to get your makeup off after using this setting spray. So the little guy was like 15, 17, something like that. The big one is like 30 something. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to get the little one. Um, if I really like it, maybe someday I'll splurge on the big one. But I think this is going to last me a long time because you just, whoosh, you know, so got that. And then I got um, the Sephora collection, you know, which is Sephora's own brand. Their products during the sale were 30% off for anybody, no matter what your tier is on their, their points program. So I thought I would try their primer. This is the Smooth and Blur Primer, one ounce. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if this is a silicone base or a water base. I'll have to look at the ingredients under better lighting because I can't see it in here. Because <laughs> I use my liquid foundations that I use are silicone. Um, but like, well, one of the skin tints I have, the Fenty is also silicone based. But like powder foundations are considered water-based. So you want to use a water-based primer with water-based. Well, it's a whole thing. So anyway, I've been reading up on it. <laughs> so I make sure I'm using the right primer with the right foundation. Um, I redeemed some of my points to get, um, you know, a, a sample of, this is a Mizani um, brand, 15 Miracle Milk. It's, you know, like a leave-in spray. Um, my hairdresser loves this stuff and I haven't tried it. So I redeemed a hundred points to get that. Um, then I got another mini <laughs> or a small, it's not really a mini. I think this was like $20. This is the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake setting powder that is like all the rage. I got the pink one, um, Cherry Blossom is the shade. I didn't want to spend the money to get the big one even during the sale because, you know, I only get 15%. Um, but I thought, you know what? I'll try the mini. This is going to last me forever. So I'll have to look at how you, it like twists somehow. I'll have to look at it in better lighting. Y'all know I'm blind as a bat. Um, not literally, but I do have very poor vision. <laughs> so this is, again, something I'm going to use under my eyes. The pink powder, the pink shade of powder is supposed to be really good for under eye concealing. So I'm excited to try this. I've heard this is like the holy grail, like the best thing ever. So yeah, um, and it does show you like how to put it on, but I'm not really sure how you open it. But again, I'll fret around with that off camera <laughs> where I can see better. Okay, then I got one other big thing, but let me show you my samples. I forgot to look up how you pronounce this company name. Is it Necessaire or Necessary? Necessaire. N-E-C-E-S-S-A-I-R-E. -E. It's a body cream. You get to pick, you know, two free samples when you order on um, Sephora's website. So I picked that. And then I picked from Nest Madagascar Vanilla Scent Stick. So it's not a perfume. It's a... Uh, a scent stick so yeah it's got oil so it's like um yeah you can hang it in your closet or like in a bathroom somewhere and it comes with this little hook to hang it on and then it's inside here but I like the scent of vanilla so I thought that would be kind of cool okay so my big splurge for myself this was $85 <laughs> And it doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot in the package, but this is one of their um, fragrance samplers. You get one, two, three, four, five, six samples. And inside here is a code or a card with a code on it to redeem for a full size of one of these six fragrances. A full, I should say, one ounce size, which is, you know, a good size perfume, but usually they come in like one ounce 1.7 and like three or 3.4 
So, you know, it's the smaller of the big bottles, but I'm no dummy. I look up how much these perfumes cost <laughs> to make sure that this is a good value. And like um, one of the perfumes in here is Valentino, Donna, Born in Roma. The one ounce bottle of that is like $90. So you're already saving $5 by getting it in this kit. So, and I, I think that's the case for all of them, that all of them are, um, the one ounce is uh, more expensive than what this little kit costs. Came in this puffy bag, which I'm not in love with. Feels like a, you know, winter coat. <laughs> and they have another set on their site right now that's $90. And it also comes, I think, with six fragrances. I might be wrong about that. But those bottles are ones that look like miniature versions of the full-size bottles, where these just look like regular samplers. But it's different perfumes, and I kind of want that other set, too. But the reason why I bought this, and then here's the card. I have to be careful that I don't flash my code to you guys. Um not seeing it on here, but it should be in here somewhere. Anyway, um, oh, that's cool. It gives you a place where you can write what your thoughts are on the different scents. But yeah, it comes with this card um, that you use to redeem for a full size. And yeah, so these are just like little samples where the other one, <laughs> they're like little minis. Like one of them is uh, one of the Carolina Herrera Good Girls good girl perfumes where they look like little um, shoe bottles, you know, a really, really high heel, but it's like a mini version of that. But anyway, these are just like, oh, here's the card. <laughs> so they call it a scent certificate. I can show you this part because the code is inside and they say, don't lose this because if you do, you are SOL because they don't track it by your receipt. So here is the card that comes with um, it explains which ones are floral, which ones are earth and woody, and which ones are warm and spicy. And then on the back, it gives you more descriptions of the scents and for you to write down what your thoughts are on each one, which I think is a really, really cool idea. So the reason why I got it was I've been thinking I wanted to get a full size of the Valentino um, Donna Born in Roma, but I wasn't for sure. So I was like, you know what, why don't I just get this? I save $5.00. You know, and that's before my 15% off, if I do decide I like it. I almost never buy the big 3.4 ounce bottle of perfume because I'm never going to, it, I'm never going to finish it before it goes bad. So, okay. So here is the Valentino and this one says it's scent type. It's a warm floral. Keynotes are black currant, jasmine, grand, grandiflorum and bourbon vanilla. I'm going to spray in the air because it's way too many to spray on my body. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> I really do like that one. Okay, so there's that one. Then we have from Glossier, Glossier, right? Glossier U. And this is a Eau de Parfum scent notes, warm and sheer. Keynotes, pink pepper, iris, and abrox, A-B-R-O-X. And this one is listed under warm and spicy on the back. So I'll spray that one over this way. This is fun. So it came in this little box. Hmm. Okay. I love doing this. Oh, no. <laughs> that one's not for me. Okay. The next one I've been kind of excited to try is from... K. Ali, I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is Huda's perfume line. I have the Huda um, K. Ali Vanilla 28, which I really love. This one is Eden Sparkling Lychee, number 39. And this scent notes uh, is a fruity floral keynote sparkling lychee, rose damas damascana, and vanilla absolute. And this one is considered just a regular floral. Ooh, hard to spray. Oh, that is sweet. That is not for me. That is one that would definitely give me a headache, I can just tell. Okay, then we have from Net, I guess. 
net. The vanilla, vanilla, um, eau de parfum. Um, oh, you know what? I apologize. These, some of these are redeemed for a 1.7 ounce and then some are one. Valentino one is a one ounce. The K. Ali is a 1.7 if you were to, you know, pick that one. This one you also get a 1.7 and the Glossier is a 1.7. Okay. I'm going to spray this one on the card because I'm running out of room in here. <laughs> like wall or, you know, airspace. Okay. So this one again is by, I think it's pronounced Net, N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. And it's the Vanille. And I sprayed it on myself. Set of the card. Hmm. I don't like that one either. This one, it says warm and sweet gourmand, keynotes, cardamom, magnolia flower, and vanilla. I do like a vanilla base, but I'm not a fan of that one. Okay, then we have boy smells. <laughs> that name cracks me up. Woodphoria Eau de Parfum. This one, the redemption size, if you pick this one, is a 2.2 .2 ounce. So the reason why some are smaller than others, it's based on, you know, the price point of the, the perfume itself. So this one is obviously a less expensive one because the redemption amount for all of them is probably like $90 to $100. It's, you know, equivalent. So anyway, this one, it says keynotes are coconut water, fig leaves, and sandalwood. And this one is described as earth and woody on this card. So... I'm going to have to spray it on this box because I am all out of space. I got one more after this one. Oh, that's, um, it's, I see what they call it, boy smells. Um, it's a little masculine. It, when they say earth and woody, they weren't kidding. I don't mind it, but it's not, not my favorite. Okay, last but not least, Tom Ford, Black Orchid. This is described as a floral, and it's a warm floral. Keynotes, black orchid, black truffle, and patchouli. And this one, the redemption size, is also a one ounce. So the Valentino and Tom Ford are one ounces, and then the other ones are a little bit larger. Okay. So, and this also shows you, like, what the bottles look like. The Valentino one is the studded bottle, which is, like, based on one of their... Um, shoes. Okay, I'm gonna go in the air. It's <laughs> pretty right at my phone. Can't spray. I can't smell it, so I'm going on my. I'm going on my arm, you guys. Wish me luck. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't like it at all. Oh, <laughs> that's very unfortunate. Um. Whew. Glad Ricky's not home. I'm definitely redeeming for the Valentino Born in Roma. It was worth it to, to try these and to save a couple of bucks to get, you know. And when I get my um, my bottle, I'll show it to you. It's very pretty. And it looks, you can see a little bit better on here. It'll look like that. But those are the perfumes that I tried for your uh, viewing pleasure. Oh, that is not good. Um, the other ones, this one is by far my least favorite, which I would have thought because it's Tom Ford that I would really like it. But no, I think, I forget which other one I said I didn't mind. The Kaali was too sweet. Was it the Glossier, maybe? Yeah. So, okay. That's all I have for you guys. Like I said, I have one more little order coming. I will show that on a separate video. Sorry, this was kind of long, but I wanted to spray those perfumes. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye-bye.